<laughs> hey. Um, so, I, I found out the other day, uh, apparently, there's such a thing as porn addicts. Yeah. This is a group of liars, right? Because they're not addicted to porn. They're not like, can't stop looking at this. I'm addicted to it. This is a group of people who are too embarrassed to admit they're addicted to jerking off, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they're addicted to porn. Yeah. It, it, that's like if I start telling people that I'm addicted to zigzags. <laughs> sure, I go through a lot of them, but it's not my point, right? I'm not like, hey man, spin up another zigzag! Put some weed in it, helps it burn better! <laughs> Bullshit. That, what I want to see, I want to see a porn addict who's hit rock bottom. Right? I want to be like walking down the street, guy jumps out of an alley at me, hey man, I'll suck your dick! for a video of somebody sucking a dick. I'm hurting, I'll settle for a still photo. Snap one while I'm sucking your dick. That's rock bottom for a porn addict, jerking off to a picture of you sucking somebody else's dick. Thank you, anyone. Yeah. Uh, you ever ask somebody how they're doing and they tell you? That's rude. <laughs> No, that's not, I'm only asking so nobody thinks I'm a sociopath. I don't care. <laughs> the correct answer, by the way, fine. Yeah, you can substitute all right, okay, or not bad. Not bad, the worst you're allowed to be. <laughs> there's subtle, like, there's subtle ways to let people know, though. You can, like, say, not too bad, which means, you know, it's like that regular level of bad my life always is, so I can handle it. Don't worry about me. Then, of course, there's not too, too bad. Which means, it's shitty, it's pretty, uh, I'm fucking struggling, but I'm not going to tell you that, because that's rude. It's fucking against society. Um, so, uh, I want to know, what's the cutoff date for uh, elderly people being allowed to be bigots? Because I'm pretty sure it's not going to fly when I'm old, but all these guys get to say whatever the fuck they want, it pisses me off. They fucking say racist, homophobic, whatever. It's, oh, and there's always the argument always. They're from another time. They're from no. They're not, Grandpa's not a time traveler. He's got a flat screen TV and the internet. So he can't. He, they can't do that in any other aspect of life. They can't get on an airplane and start smoking a cigarette. Another time. I was alive when this was allowed. What? Yeah. You know who else is from another time? Hitler! <laughs> yeah, but you never hear anybody like, he was raised differently! You don't, the way he was raised caused him to murder six million people! It's about how you're raised! It's not, can't hold him to our standards! Yeah. <laughs> so, uh... Uh, I, I'm well read. I like to read. So I was reading the dictionary the other day. I was looking up the word elbow, the joint that connects the forearm and the upper arm. Um, well, I'm looking up elbow, though. I noticed another word in the dictionary. The word I notice, El Cheapo. So like everyone here, I'm like, what does that mean? And I read the definition. I'll share it with you. The definition of El Cheapo is... Another way of saying cheapo. <laughs> you know, because you use it so often, you need to throw it variants from time to time. El cheapo, maybe a senior El cheapo. I haven't looked that one up, don't go using that. But I couldn't help, like, who is this definition for? Like, who's out with their friends? Their friend's like, hey man, buy me a milkshake. They're like, no. And their friend's like, all right, El cheapo. And they're like, what does that even mean? <laughs> they run home, get the dictionary, calling me a cheapo, is he? from the audience. You, man, just ask you a couple questions. Okay, uh, what is uh, the name of your the high school you attended? Okay, and uh, the name of your first pet? I've never had a pet. Okay, uh, mother's maiden name? Okay, so you don't consider these to be secret questions? Nobody tell you this! Question, ask me my masturbation schedule, which 
party. It's awful because you're, you have to like act like you're looking for something, but you're not. You're just sort of walking around like, <laughs> me start like, like, where could it be? I'm searching. <laughs> not under that. The whole time in your head you're just like, fucking give up, it's gone. I don't care about whatever we're looking for. And then they find it and they always say the same thing. I was like, oh, I was in the last place you look. I fucking hate that. But not for this stupid, hacky reason of, oh, because I just stop looking. No. I hate it because you don't, it's not always in the last place you look, because sometimes you never find it. The glass is half empty, people. Uh, I have exciting news. Who's ready to get excited? Guess what, everybody? We live in the future! Yeah! You know how I know that? Because it's only four years till the year Marty McFly went to when he went to the future? Yeah. Oh, boom! Future! Right. You know how, and so we aren't just new to the future. We're so far, we're far in the future. We're at a point in the future where we use the same machine for banking and masturbation. Yeah. It's fucking far in the future. You used to have to wait till you got back to your car at least. <laughs> now I like reward myself for paying bills. Are you over 18? Hells yeah. <laughs> Alright, uh, I'll finish with this. Um, I like watching uh, dinosaur shows, like TV shows about dinosaurs. <laughs> I'm all around it. Um, and they always start the same way. It's always like, Dinosaurs went extinct 65 million years ago, and I'm like, hold up. Dinosaurs went extinct 65 million years ago when I was a kid. 65 million, 20 years. Don't get sloppy, scientists. <laughs> Come on. And then you get into the, the meat of the programming, and they're like, when Gilliminus was startled, it would crick its tail in such a way to let all the other dinosaurs in the area know there was a threat. And I'm like, you got that from Bones? <laughs> right? I think every sentence in one of these dinosaur shows should have to be followed up with, Probably. <laughs> we think, based on our best guesses. Yeah, paleontology is the guessingest science. I think it pisses me off. Everybody here familiar with brontosaurus and triceratops? Yes. Yeah, old, everybody loved those dinosaurs. Guess what? Never existed. Fucking paleontology mistakes. Google them when you get home. You won't, you're drunk. But it's true. <laughs> and it fucking pisses me off. I hate, they're just guess. And there's a show on TV called Jurassic Fight Club. <laughs> yeah, and it's where paleontologists take dinosaur bone sites and CSI that shit to tell you about the battle that happened. They're like, T-Rex was like, Rawr, and then Stegosaurus was like, I don't think so. And it's like, oh, fuck you! Fuck you! Thank you, everybody. <laughs> 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 